Horner says he is not going anywhere despite calls for his resignation. He made the declaration in a private email over the weekend. Horner is under fire over the scandal involving Allison Redford and the government's planes. He says this department oversees the fleet, but it's up to others to follow the rules. In an email to caucus this weekend, Horner says he will stay on. Today, his office says the email was private, so Horner will not speak about it publicly. Horner may not be talking, but former Premier Ed Stelmack is, and he's talking about another former Premier. Stelmack commented on Alison Redford's latest scandal, what the Auditor General called the aura of power when she was in office, how it enabled Alison Redford to use government planes for personal benefit, and even plan a personal residence in a government-owned building. Ed Stelmack says those revelations hurt. There are rules in place. Everybody says, well, we need tougher rules. The rules are in place. Uh, it's just to make sure that the people that we have elected uh, are honest, they're true to what they have said uh, in their campaign. And uh, I'm confident that that will happen. But uh, unfortunately, you get one person that abuses uh, the power. And um, as a result, we, we're all tainted by this. And, and especially here in Alberta, it, it uh, really hurts. Now, we also heard from House Speaker Gene Zwazdeski for the first time since the Auditor General released his report. He wouldn't comment on the report specifically, but said it will likely come up when the House returns. No, the House is a, a very unique place where freedom of speech prevails, and we always take members at their word. And we'll just see how the fall session goes in that respect. And we have more news tonight about the PC party leadership race. There will be no televised debate to help party members decide who to vote for. Just this morning, two of the three candidates, Thomas Lukasik and Rick McIver, were calling for a live televised debate. They say Albertans need every possible opportunity to hear from the candidates so they can earn their trust and regain their support. We're actually choosing a, a premier for the province of Alberta and we strongly believe that uh, Albertans uh, deserve to get to know us and uh, see our different policy alternatives. But most importantly, uh, public debate uh, eliminates the possibility of uh, sending uh, mixed messages to, to uh, different crowds under different circumstances. All Albertans should be hearing the same thing uh, from all candidates uh, no matter where they are. Now, after weeks of negotiation with CBC and other networks, the PC Party says there will be no such debate. PC Party President Jim McCormick released a statement. He says, quote, The three candidates have been in the same room in front of our members and the general public plenty of times this campaign, with at least three other events planned in the near future.